Good evening, everyone. It's the last week of the high school volleyball regular season, and we happen to have a camera and a car out in Newberry. So we checked on the Indians against the Brimley Bays. It was parents appreciation night, seniors night, all kinds of fun things going on in Luce County. Brimley up one set to done when Cassie Tesmer times the hit perfectly and puts that one down for the Bays. They lead the set two nothing. Then at three nothing, the Indians get going off the block. Megan Grigg with the nice touch and puts that one down and then eventually we're tied at three. Kelsey Huffman celebrating senior night will send the serve over. The Bays cannot get this one back. Newberry ties the 12. We did not get the final score. Well, hopefully we will get it in the near future. Meanwhile, let's go to Bark River Harris where the Broncos in the far court taking on North Dickinson and McKenna Christian will tap that one over to the vacant spot and get the point. We are in the second set. North Dickinson won the first and Haley Anderson with an ace for the Nordics. Then Bark River Harris gets to work as Abby Anziano will get the kill. Number five right there. And then Olivia Rivard will get another kill for Bark River Harris. The Broncos went on to win the second set and this one ended up going all five. North Dickinson turned out to be your winner, 16-14 and three sets to two. Meanwhile, let's go to Ishpeming where the Hematites were entertaining Gwen in a Mid-Peninsula Conference match. Aaron Casey, Joanna Harvey, and Hannah Smith the slap. I don't know if that's a proper volleyball term, but that's what it looks like. That tied the first set at 17. Then Aaron Casey is going to get some help from the net. And the homecoming queen from Ishpeming gets the point, but Gwen leads 20 to 18. Then for the model towners, Brenna Bruce, Cassidy Anderson, and Nicole Usher. And yes, that one's good. And the model towners are up three at 21 18. Bailey Nyquist, Cassidy Anderson, and Nicole right in front of me at least that one goes down Gwen went on to win the first set 25 to 20 and they went on to win the match three sets to none hop in the car let's go to Nagani the miners taking on Gladstone in non-conference action and for Gladstone Tazzy Martinez Zoe Berg and Caitlin Hardwick a little top spin shot that finds the floor and it's one nothing Braves Nagani won the first set for Nagani, Madeline Cantillo, Marissa Simons taps it over and the Braves cannot respond to one maize and blue. Good serve here by Gladstone Sage Sisson, but Delaney McLaughlin to Marissa Simons and Madison Cantillo with the backward kill. Again, I don't know if that's a volleyball term either, but it sounds pretty effective for two after a Cantillo ace. Then Allie Jacobson would get a kill. She had six, and Nagani won this set 25-20 in the match, three sets to none. The Chicago Blackhawks have announced they have recalled forward Tanner Carroll from the Rockford Ice Hawks of the American Hockey League. Ice Hogs, I should say. The former 23-year-old Michigan Tech hockey player from Hancock has eight points, six goals, and two helpers in five games this season. Earlier this week, Carroll was named the AHL Player of the Week for the period ending October 25th. Prior to signing with Chicago as a free agent in April, Carroll paced the Western Collegiate Hockey Association's Michigan Tech Huskies with a career-high 46 points on 20 goals and 26 helpers in 41 games during his senior year. He was a 2015 Hobie Baker nominee. He was the WCHA Player of the Year, the WCHA Outstanding Student Athlete of the Year, and on the league first team. He had 111 points in his four years at Michigan Tech. 